right, let's take a look at another sample problem here. Uh, as you're probably going to be able to guess by the title, uh, you'll know which formula we're using here. But uh, I, I just want to uh, challenge you to read these problems, um, you know, even in your textbook or workbook uh, from your lab and, and try to really identify which formulas you're going to use first and foremost. That's an essential skill to getting these right. Uh, let's go ahead and read this one, though. And I'm just going to try to underline the variables as we go. Uh, a radiograph of the knee produced 100 milli Rankin. Let's get that guy underlined there. Of exposure, uh, remember unit of intensity, exposure, when 70 kbp and 10 mass uh, was used at 40 inches. Wow, that's uh, four variables right there in the first sentence. Uh, the ART registry is going to try to throw you off by giving you unnecessary information. So uh, keep that in mind when we uh, are looking for our solutions here. Let's read the next sentence. What new mass would be required? We're going to be looking for the new mass would be required at a distance of 60. 60 inches, I'll even put this there because I forgot to type it, to maintain density. There's a good key phrase. They're asking you to maintain density and they want to know the new mass. A uh, red flag right there, or not really a red flag, but a light bulb should pop up saying density maintenance formula. So let's look at our formula. What is the density maintenance formula? We're going to use mass 1 over mass 2 equals distance 1 squared. This is directly proportional to the square of the distance, not inversely, over d2 squared. So um, let's do like we did on the last video. I'm just going to kind of draw our constants in our formula here, just as an entry level thing. Yeah, as you do these, and kind of can breeze right through them. You don't need to do that, but um, I like to just show it uh, for the time being. All right, so uh, mass 1 over mass 2 equals d1 squared over d2 squared. Uh, let's find our mass 1, which is 10. Uh, mass 2 is what it's asking for, so we don't know it. It's going to be x. Um, and then we just need our distances. So we don't really need milli Rankin. We don't need KBP. Uh, we have our distances. We want to keep this. Um, I'll just cross out the exposure because we don't really care. Um, and let's circle our 60 inches as well. Uh, so distance 1 squared is going to be 40 squared over distance 2 was 60 squared. Now, again, we're going to uh, reduce here. This reduces to two-thirds, and we can't forget to square it. I'm just going to write this out here because some people have trouble following what I'm doing here on uh, uh, the whiteboard when I'm in class. So um, I'm just going to get rid of this whole thing, move what I just did by reducing to uh, two-thirds uh, squared over here. Now let's square this to four ninths and we just squared it so I'm just going to cross that out too. So I'm going to rewrite it just for clarity here. 10 over x equals 4 over 9. Uh, so let's cross multiply this way first. I'm going to say 90 equals 4x divide by 4 So our answer is 22.5, and I can do the long division, you can do the calculator. Let's just do the calculator here. This is going to be 9, 0, divided by 4, 22.5. Boy, I was right. Go figure. Sometimes, you know, I, like I'm really good at doing these in my head, um, but after an hour of doing these um, as a student, uh, you can kind of start, you know, um, I don't know, your, your brain kind of wanders, you lose concentration, and you just start writing numbers down and you don't really think about it. So it's always good to use the calculator uh, just to check. Um, they are allowed on the registry, a simple four-function calculator will do. Uh, anyway, so 22.5. Um, let's round that to the nearest whole number. Uh, so we're going to call it 23 mass. That is our answer. 
I like it. Uh, just just in uh, theory here, though, let's let's think about this. The density maintenance formula. If you're going to Let's see, what do we do with our increase, uh, with our distance? We increased it. Uh, if you're going to increase your distance from 40 inches to 60 inches, your intensity decreases. So the uh, amount of technical factor usage or the amount of density required to maintain that exposure is going to have to increase. So your mass 2 value right here, we, which we got was 23 should be higher than the original mass 1, which is 10 up here. And it is. Um, you know, you can shoot that exposure probably in your clinical side on a phantom or in, in your lab. Um, it should work out. These are pretty good formulas, very accurate. And, um, you know, I hope this helps. Uh, I think that you can get really confused, like I said in my prior video, between knowing uh, which formula to use, inverse square law versus uh, density maintenance formula. Look for those keywords. This one we had maintain density, uh, and we also had what new mass. Uh, inverse square law doesn't have a mass value as part of the vari variables. So uh, keep those in mind. Uh, I hope this gives you a few little uh, tricks up your sleeve. Uh, to help you with your next exam or your next uh, technical factor production uh, in clinic, especially during portables. This is very useful. Well, I'm Jeremy, and uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good afternoon.